What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Thank you so much. All the views, support, comments. Last 24 hours. I want to do something a little different. Talk about my expectations of QB1. And the great thing here, I'm using all Madden footage. So Madden has set this groundwork for me to use. I'm going to do a video tomorrow about a lot of the things I've seen removed from franchise. The why I can't trust EA. And I feel like if something like this was included in the game, they would have led with it. But these are really simple ideas, concepts we all are familiar with, watching football, storylines that would have you invested into wanting to play the game. And hopefully they're there, but I don't have a lot of hope that they are. So just taking a look here, two quarterbacks to get drafted. Maybe you've got one coming in, making his first start in an away game, show him getting off the bus, talk about the hype, talk about the nerves. Maybe you show both quarterbacks side by side, talk about what each franchise expected with an eighth pick, an 18th round pick. You know, build a rivalry, build a grudge between you and another player where you constantly want to do better than them and you're willing to invest more time or even to play the game in order to kind of chase that carrot, if you will, of becoming the best quarterback from that draft class. Show the impact, though, it has on your team. You know, talk about it being your first start against a rival. Talk about a team halfback that maybe wants to get the ground game going, take that pressure off you. Maybe you've got a good pass blocker like an Edger and James where he's looking to give you that extra time in the pocket, a reason to have players. Maybe you go out, you sign a veteran wide receiver, veteran tight end. They talk about trying to be that security blanket, give you that first option, give you someone to build a chemistry with and work with. Hopefully the game realizes the reason you're signing these players or have these players, but don't just leave it at all the positive things. And again, these are all things that could be very easily done. These aren't any concepts that we aren't familiar with just in watching any level of football. Let's say, though, you wanted to go a little bit in depth. Let's say you have a player that maybe isn't sold on the rookie quarterback that you are. Maybe he signed to come and bring championships to his resume, and now he feels like you're starting over. He hasn't had a rookie quarterback in seven seasons. So he's going to have an issue with you, and you're going to have to build trust and earn confidence by throwing the ball to him and trusting him in situations. And maybe when you don't win, even if it's not the quarterback's fault, you have a little morale boost that comes for you, but maybe a little bit less for him. And maybe it gets to the point where he's no longer with the team. Who knows? But I feel like those would all be things that are easy to put in the game that would really add to the experience. And I hope they're there. But again, the fact that they weren't brought up to us really leads me to think that they're not. And imagine all the tie-ins you could do with other teams, especially if you're going to have these players come from draft classes, maybe players you've played against in college come into the league, you try to get them on your teams, or you play against them. But give us a structure. Give us an environment. Give us something that feels like it's living, not just stale text on a screen, because I hate to say it, that seems to be what franchise has been more about the past few years than anything else. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. And you know I'll be back very shortly with more commentary.